Hey, good morning. This is Ray over here at Namrak Farms. Look again here. We got maple yeah. and syrup right here. All my other little sheep hanging out here. Yeah. Yesterday we talked about, uh, we've been talking about Tony and syrup and how, uh, you know, yeah. forgiveness leads to living and, and enjoyment of the life put before us, the hedge of protection put around us. Now here's a truth I want to share with you. There is absolutely no way Tony can get from over here to back over here where he can bother syrup. Unless, for some reason, I choose to open this gate and let him through. That's his only way to get back on this side of the fence. That's the only way that he could ever bother that little fella again, is if I chose to open the gate and let him back over here, which I don't intend to do. However, syrup, syrup could make a choice. Syrup can make a choice to come down here crawl through a thick muddy place right here under my gate and get to the other side. This little hole right here has been left for Vasella to go back and forth, but Syrup, if he wanted to, could go through here. And this is extremely muddy and mucky right here. If Syrup chose to go through here, he would be going back to the side where his oppressor and his abuser and his hater, the one who beat him and bruised him and battered him and longed to kill him would be. And the only thing that Syrup would gain from such an action would be to put himself back in a position to be pressed down, pushed down, hated, and in a place of shame. See, when I found Syrup that morning being beat by Tony, he looked pitiful, but he also looked like maybe he felt ashamed. And you and I, there is absolutely no way that sin and death, once we are rescued by our good Savior, our good shepherd could ever get back to us unless for some reason he decided to open the gate. And do you think he's going to let death and sin come back and take a grip upon you? No. No, but however, for some reason, sometimes you and I, we find these same little mucky, miry places that if we crawl through, we'll be nasty and filthy and full of dirt. And when we get on the other side... The only thing awaiting us will be the one who hates us, who longs to beat us, to batter us, to bruise us, to break us, to kill us. And it will leave us feeling ashamed. Today, I want to encourage you with this. Stay and enjoy the protection given you by our Good Shepherd. Don't look for the little holes that take you back to that sin and shame. Don't look for the holes that cover you with muck and dirt and mire and lead you back to the one who hates you. No, be like syrup. Be like syrup and just stay over here in the protection of the good shepherd. Today, go enjoy the shepherd. I'll see you soon.